Hi everyone, it's Jessica and today's video is going to be my plan with me and my Erin Condren and for this week it's actually my birthday so I picked out a, a special kit to use for my birthday. This is a kit from Rose Shadow Collection and I do love using her foiled icons. This is the first time that I'm actually using a kit from her but it is also a foiled kit so hopefully the camera is picking up some of that gorgeous foil. I did consider picking out a birthday kit because I know a lot of shops offer those nowadays but ultimately I just didn't find a birthday kit that I loved quite as much as I like this kit so I decided to go ahead and use this one instead so this is a very very full kit as you can see I don't know if you can tell this is actually the washi sheet and these were the full boxes that are foiled and she does have some foiling on the icons included in the kit as well um, and then headers and little things and then the bottom washi is actually foiled as well which is just gorgeous so I'm really Really excited to use this kit. I will actually be pulling in some items from Rose Colored Days which is kind of funny because they do have similar sounding names but I decided I really wanted this to look very light and lots of white space especially since I am going to be using this bottom washi so there's already going to be a lot going on on the bottom of my spread so I kind of wanted to keep the rest of it just very very light so I decided to go for these foiled heart checklists instead of the full boxes or the checklist that she has and then to go with that I think I might pull in some of these foiled header stickers and then some of these date covers because actually I don't think this kit comes with date covers. I don't remember seeing any. So yeah, I am just going to get started and start planning. The first thing I'm going to do, actually the first thing I did off camera is that I already cut down the bottom washi. So I cut it to just where basically the foiling is so that it is just a smidge shorter than usual. Um, so I just trimmed off a little bit from the top and the bottom and that's because I usually like to bring my full boxes down a little bit and that way I have a little bit of extra room to plan in my day. However, because these were just so pretty, um, I didn't want to have to cut these halfway through like I do with most kits. So I trimmed it down just a little bit so that you still get that foiled effect but I can still have a little bit more space in my day. And actually, I just decided that I'm going to do something a little bit different with my layout this week. I am actually going to put my full boxes in the middle section. I normally put them right at the bottom, but just because, again, the bottom washi is a little bit busier and the full boxes have quite a bit going on, I kind of want the spread to be a little bit more balanced. So I'm going to wind up putting the full boxes in the middle and I'm actually going to bring them up a little bit so that I can cover up one of the headers. Because something else that I don't love is I don't really like using the like to do and today and odds and ends headers if I can avoid it. Most of the time I use it just because the colors work really well with the spread. but. This time around, I think I'm actually going to pass on the headers that were included in this kit and I'm going to go with the foiled headers from Rose Shadow Collection. But I also don't want there to be too much foil in the spread. So I think I'm going to try to cover up some of these headers with the full boxes and then cover up the rest with um, like little label stickers or appointment stickers to mark my work schedule. And I think that'll work out nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and do all the checklists first. And I don't know if I explained why I really chose this kit to use for my birthday week. Um, I basically just really like the clip art that she used. It's everything that I really love as far as from a materialistic standpoint. Um, I really like purses and shoes and pretty dresses and foiling of course. So. And there's also like perfume and makeup in it, which again, they're just all things that I really like. So that's why I wanted to use this kit instead. It just, it just basically seems like a very me sort of kit. I'm 
Yeah, I think that foiling looks gorgeous. And again, these stickers were from Rose Color Days. So I do have a few of her little sampler stickers. These are actually available for purchase in her shop if you just want to try out some of her headers and stuff. And then this sheet is also just some little cutout heart checklist. So now I'm going to go through and actually place my full boxes. Now that all of that is down, I think it looks gorgeous. And the next thing that I usually like to do in my spreads is mark down my work schedule. So this week I actually work just Tuesday through Friday because I work the weekend prior. Um, so I just need four little label stickers and I'm thinking I'm just going to use these four right here and just kind of alternate between the colors. And as for the little hearts that I like to use, these are from Clever Gal Crafts. And I was thinking I would use this really darker colored red. It doesn't really go with the spread, but I think it adds a little bit of contrast. And I don't know, I just really like it. So, actually, I don't really like how this looks on top of that bright pink. So, I'm going to try to lift this up and hopefully not ruin the sticker. And I might switch to a lighter pink instead. Instead, I think I'm going to use this really light pink on this sheet, also from Clever Gal Crafts. And the other thing I realized as I was flipping through these sheets is that she doesn't actually have a weekend banner. Um, she has these little like date strips let's see up here so she has two little day off ones and a tgif one but not an actual weekend banner so i am going to pull in a weekend banner from one of my crest press sheets this is just an extra functional sheet that i had picked up because i knew that i could make use out of these colors and this sheet in particular has been discontinued so fortunately it's not available anymore but i am really glad i picked it up because definitely came in handy and I'm just going to put this right over the headers on the weekend and not worry about the little bit of gray that's peeking out especially since there's already some gray in the kit anyway. So as far as things going on this week my birthday is on the 28th so I'm going to put down a half box for just dinner with friends in the evening and I think I might fill up the rest of this with some of my Mombi stickers just to make it a little bit more special. Um, it's not in this book. So in the seasonal pack of Mombi stickers there is a page full of all these little birthday decorations and I really love these birthday script word stickers so I think I'm going to use one of these and the rest of these are kind of just too big for the spread since I don't really have that much more space to work with. So I think I'm just going to stick with using that one. And the other thing I wanted to use is one of these gorgeous birthday cake stickers. These are from a Crafts by Towie. So let me pick out one that I want to use. That day is starting to look a little bit busier than I like but I mean I can only do so much with the space that I have, so I'm just going to leave it like that. And then I do have two bills that are due this week. Well, actually I have just one bill and then a payday that I wanted to mark down too. So first things first, the bill that I have due, these are bill due stickers from Crest Press and these are my favorite bill due stickers. So I am going to use, I'm actually thinking maybe the gray would be nice for this spread. Now that that's done, that actually takes care of all of the headers that I hadn't covered up yet. And then I do want to mark a payday, which I normally use these Fox and Pip Girls to mark the payday. But I'm just thinking like the green might stand out a little bit too much for my liking, at least in this spread. I do also have these little payday girls from Nico Art, so I might use her here. I 
just decided instead of using any of these little character stickers, they are looking a little bit too cutesy for the spread, which normally I like cutesy, but I think I want to try to keep this very just more elegant looking. So I am actually going to pull in some of the Sessa V stickers that I have. I do have a few sheets that are in her rose gold color, and let me see what I want to do for this. That looks quite nice. And then I just had two more things that I wanted to mark down on the weekend. One is that I generally call my mom on Saturdays. So I'm going to use one of these little things to mark that down. Just kidding. So I realize I have these two call little things from Crest Press that I wanted to use instead. I think I'm going to use this gray one on a Sunday. No, I'm not going to volunteer this week. I think I'm going to take the weekend off and just enjoy my work on some a few other things but I do want to mark down that I have to call my mom for this weekend and I realized I totally forgot to mark down that rent was actually due the first of the month as well and the only thing I'm not super concerned about that honestly is just because I paid my rent through the end of my lease already so this is kind of just a little reminder to myself more than anything but Again, not a huge deal because it's already been paid. So let me see. I think I want to use... But I think that is actually it. That is all I want to mark down at this point. Um, how I like to plan is that I like to put down all the basics, all the checklists, full boxes, you know, some of the stuff that I know for sure is happening at the beginning of the week before everything happens and then I kind of fill in each day as I go so like Monday I know I had the bill due but I'm not exactly sure what else I'm going to be doing Monday it'll just kind of depend on my mood so that's why I'm leaving it blank and I'm actually just going to um, fill it in the day of or once I decide what I actually want to do so I'm just going to go and fill in some of these sidebar things now and I'm debating if I want this on top or So as I was looking through the rest of the stickers, I realized that she actually does have a pretty foiled phone icon there. So I think I'm going to actually use that here instead. And I can always use this little thing somewhere else. And then the very last thing that I want to do is I want to use some of these really gorgeous date covers. These are again from Rose Color Days. And I... Let's see, I think I'm going to leave a little bit of a white space between the header and the date cover. Hopefully that's not going to be too much foiling up at the top, but we'll have to see. And she does provide little foiled dates as well with each sheet. Although, as much as I love the foiled dates that she provides, I think I'm actually going to use my Sessa V date covers. I've just been really obsessed with these. I think they turn out really, really pretty. Um, I've used them, I think, the last two weeks now. So this week, yeah, and the week before. And I just think they took, look so pretty, and they kind of add a little bit of contrast. So I'm going to go ahead and actually use these instead. So here is what my finished spread looks like. I love all the foiling. It just looks so pretty when it catches the light. I'm really, really happy with this. And I have a ton left over from this kit. Um, I have most of the functional sheets. So she does provide you quite a few little checklists, flags, some more half boxes, some more label stickers, a bunch of these foiled icons. And she actually provides seven of these hydrate stickers, which is interesting because I feel like most shops have kind of moved away from doing that. Um, all the headers and little things, I only used one little thing. This is all the washi strips, which because of the way it's cut, you can actually just easily stack them up and create another spread. Out of it so I love when shops do this because it's really easy to stretch a kit out over two weeks when you're able to do that with the washi strips um, I have two more half boxes on this sheet I've got she does provide this really really cool um, sidebar thing I just don't typically need 
so many to do's in my sidebar. This sheet actually wasn't cut super well, but it's just a really, really long sidebar strip. You get a ton of these little flags, which I was kind of tempted to use. I might actually stick the flag underneath the date cover just because that green doesn't really go with the spread. This pink I was okay with, but that green is standing out a little bit. So I might use these two pinks up at the header area, um, some more little labels slash header size stickers. You only get five here though. And then a weekly tracker. I still have all of the full box checklists and some of the little three box checklists. And I also have some deco, which I think I'm gonna wind up dotting on the sidebar. And then some of these more functional, like a movie marquee, some bill do, some of these functional deco icons that I will pull in as I go throughout the week. So that is everything for this week. I am really, really happy with how it all turned out. I love the spread. So I'm glad I finally got around to using this kit. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.